Good afternoon, scrappers. Sitting here with little button, the scrap cat. So what I'm going to do is the two boilers from my last video. I'm going to be breaking those down, and then I'll show you what I've got afterwards. Because there's, well, you don't want to watch me taking apart two boilers. Um, so yeah, I'll get them in the house, which is a, a task on its own. And then I can, hello, I can break those down. And I'm sure this little thing is going to help or hinder. Because she just had her new catnip toy. And she's a little bit funny at the moment. But yeah, no, we don't want kisses. <laughs> yeah, never work with animals or children. She is both. Anyway, we're going to have a look at the boilers. Catch you in a bit. So here are said boilers, and they're going to go just here. So, little thing he's trying to get out again. You stay there. And there we go. Actually, the smaller one is heavier than the larger one. So anyway, I shall set about those and we'll come back to it when I'm done. So I'll catch you later. So here we are. As you can see, there is one boiler left. As the other one has taken me a very long time to completely take apart. But here is what we got. So the steel, which is this pile here and all these little bits in here because I've actually completely taken it apart so all that steel was 23 and a half kilos and we've got this little box here full of copper I've even taken all the transformers apart so I've got this little box of copper which comes in at mm, say 1200 grams, round it up. And then we'll go down over here. And we have brass here, which means these were some lovely, lovely big chunks of brass. Massive connectors and things there. So we'll just chuck them on the, on the scales. I mean, that piece on its own is 1400 grams. So, yeah, absolute beauty. So, it's two and a half kilos there. Just those four pieces. I mean, that is just brilliant. And I've got another little tub with all the, all the nuts and bits in there. And that comes in at 682. So we go three kilos of brass, give or take. And then we have alley, there wasn't very much um, cast alley, which is good. And that comes in at a kilo. And I can melt all that down, so that's worth six or seven pounds to me. A whopping amount of stainless steel. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, forget that bit. 12 grams, 13 grams of stainless steel. Wow. And we have the wire, all this wire. And this one board, which there was a transformer on it and some IC chips and one chip on the back so there wasn't much there but I, c I can now get rid of my circuit boards so it's worth a little bit not a lot and then there's two little boards which as you can see have gold flashing which um, was quite unexpected so 
they're actually better than the big board. So this one is it's it's very light gold fashion, but it's there. So that's a bonus. However small. Two little motors which come in at 380 grams. Now this because you can see if you can see there the green oxidization I'm guessing is a copper aluminium radiator because it's not magnetic and that as you can see is a bit of a beast at over four kilos now this one this piece is aluminium I can weigh that properly it's nearly half a kilo but this piece it's not magnetic and I can't see any oxidization on it I'd be very surprised if that was completely aluminium but again that's two kilos I mean there might be a slight bit of oxid oxidization on these but that might have been from the connector that was on it if anyone knows It'd be great if you put it in the comments. And also, these. Now these aren't magnetic, apart from these pieces on each end. And if anyone knows what they are, what they're made of, I'd be very grateful if you could let me know. Because I've got about five or six of them now. I'm not sure what, um, what to categorise them as. But there we go, I've got a few of them. And then I have this little bundle here, which is another another big chunk of brass. But inside there, there's some steel inside it, so I've got to get that apart. This bit of aluminium, there's some bit of brass on the end I couldn't get out. And one of the screws snapped off there, so I'll take them out. And then these... Why is that there? Because oh, it's got a bit of plastic in the end. These copper pipes have all got brass pieces on, so I'll heat those up. And the solder which is holding the brass on will just loosen off. And happy days, I'll have brass and copper separate. Anyway, that was from the first boiler. So now, I'll have to get started on this one which is actually a different type of boiler and it's much easier to do um, it's got the big chunk the cast iron block in there I think this could be an oil boiler and the other one was a a combi boiler so yeah I'll have a bash at this one and then I might show you that one in a later video anyway thank you for watching and uh, coming up December so people will be getting new TVs so watch out for those TVs being given away and uh, if you liked it give me a thumbs up see the thumb is healed now which is good <laughs> and uh, even better if you could subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one keep scrapping <laughs>